Afternoon people out back again. This is Sam, South Carolina Happy Bees. And we're looking at 314. It's about 2 o'clock right now. Temperature, temperature's okay. It's partly cloudy. Little wind. And we're going to be looking at this one and see how they're doing. All the bees are doing pretty good so far. Temperature night supposed to get down to the 20s. Okay, this one. Last time we was in here was on 1230, 1223, not 1235. Uh, but it has a yellow queen. Hmm, I haven't been in it since 12.9 because on 12.23 I just gave them dry sugar because it was cold that day. I don't go to my bees when it's cold. And they're eating their sugar real good. And we're going to take that box and move it. So you can see both of them at the same time. We're going to check the bottom first. heavy in it. Okay, give me a seat. Bees right here eating their your pollen. This one Doesn't have anything on it. There's a little mold on it. But they'll take care of that. A couple of bees walking around on it. Just set it right there, right now. This one. Doesn't have anything on it. Another reason I leave, and I know a lot of you people are going to be thinking this, is why don't I just put them in a single box and get rid of this bottom box? Up until this year, that's what I did. However, I'm not doing it this year. Not much. Boxes like this one, I'm leaving the bottom on it. See, that's a brand new frame, a foundation that they'll be using. Okay, when the bees, they, they heat up the cluster, they don't heat up the whole hive, they just heat up the cluster. I think we're going to get rid of this foundation and put another one in it. We're going to take that one out we're going to put this one in. Now this one is a drone frame and we want drones. So that's what that is. Nothing else on it. That come out of 340 over here. This one. We're going to get rid of it too. There's nothing on this one. There we go. There we go. This one got some pollen on it. That one has pollen on it. This 
And here's another drone frame for honey or whatever they want to do with it. This one is a good brood frame, has nothing on it. We're going to put it in the middle. And this one is a honey or a drone frame. We're going to put it right there. This one, we're going to put right here. But if the wind blows through the bottom, I think these frames here will slow it down from getting, um, up to the top. We're going to give them a little pile down here. These frames over here that I'm taking out, I'm putting over here, and they can be robbed out. So we're going to take this off. We're going to put it here. We're going to take their sugar off. See, they got, this is all eaten out here. They've got their tablet here. There's a cave that goes back up in here and in here. So what I'll do is I'll put some paper down here, put some more sugar on there. And the paper collects moisture from the hive. People don't think about this, but baby bees sweat too, just like people. That's why I call them my little people. And it also collects the moisture that comes off the top when it gets cold. This one is a good foundation. Now, it depends on what's in here, whether we leave that bottom box on there or not. This one here has honey and pollen. Yeah, it's got a little bit of honey on it. As nectar, it's had a little bit of wax moth problems, but they took care of it. My bees will do that. You notice how gentle they are. So you just take it, stick your hand on down in there. My bees are gentle. And yes, we are taking orders for bees now. Get in touch with me. This one here. That's pollen. There's red pollen. There's yellow pollen. frame. You're not going to starve. Okay, 
So one guy, he asked me about, he bought three hives in the fall. I guess it's fall this year. Two of them are doing okay, but one of them left the house. They had plenty of sugar, I mean plenty of honey, but they, they all just left. Bees will do that. They could have too many, put this back in here a minute while I'm talking. Could be they got too many beetles in there, could be mites, could be a, a lizard that's bothering them, or a dog, or a cat, or a rat, or whatever. Go, fossil. This one here has a yellow queen right there. It has brood, eggs, and larvae. You're up at the top now. We don't keep them out when we see the babies. You notice they're in the middle of the frame, a middle of the box. I put my bees and queen and babies in the middle of the box before it starts turning cold so she can get used to it up there. She'll start laying eggs. Had a beetle. This one here has pollen. Yellow Queen. We have one more big one we're going to look at that I know of. Because we got to get them closed back up before it gets cold. So they can warm it back up. This one here has honey, it has nectar. You're not going to starve, but you need to keep an eye on them as far as the bugs and other things. We got one little lizard that plays around over here. I don't see too much. I'm out in the country here too now. And we have possums and we have raccoons and we have, we don't have no skunks. Haven't found any yet. This one here has nectar on it. We're going to push them all back over. If y'all got any questions or if you want to ask me something, leave me a comment. And if I don't know the answer, I'll find the answer. That's there. This up, we'll sit in here. Put your sugar there. I picked your box up, put here. He has a yellow queen. Get y'all a little bit closer here, y'all can see. Okay.
Now they've eaten all this out. It's got pilot over here. It's got their tab right here. But there's a tunnel that goes back up in there where the babies are at. So what we're going to do is we'll take this Put it down here. I don't want to do that. Get my oil paper here. That's thick paper. That's downy right there. That's too thick for what I want it for. We'll put that there. Spray it with water so they can get to it a lot bit quicker and better. The sugar will absorb moisture to keep it off the bees. And everybody be happy. Hope y'all enjoy that. Y'all, I buy the cheapest paper towels that I can get. Because they work better for what this is. Downies is good for the house. But not for what I do here. Hope y'all enjoy that one. Show you a couple of the big ones. They take a little bit longer, but they take longer for me too. So, hope y'all enjoyed that. I enjoyed it because it makes me happy when I see my bees like that. But, that's it. Getting tired, back to beginning to hurt. Uh, not really, but just let me know it's there. But, uh, Y'all give us a thumbs up, a comment, share, subscribe. All that good stuff. Let people know where we're at. Leave me some comments. If you got questions. Or if you just want to say hi. We appreciate it all. We appreciate y'all watching. Y'all be careful out there this week. Bye.